Hi everyone, my name is Ross McConnell, I am the co-founder and CEO of Blinder. We are an external communications platform that has uh, already been used by Olympic champions, Grammy winners and teams from the NCAA to the Premier League of English Football. But it all started with these guys, the New Zealand Rugby League team, where my business partner, a guy called Kayleigh Wilson, was the communications manager several years ago. One of Kayleigh's main jobs was to get these guys talking to the media, so he had his work cut out for him in a whole bunch of different ways, as you can probably imagine. But one of the first challenges he came up against in the job was something as seemingly trivial, trivial as arranging phone interviews. Katie was based in New Zealand, many of his athletes were, uh, were playing overseas, uh, and he wasn't sure at first how to arrange these calls without sacrificing the privacy of his athletes. He, th he thought he'd probably missed the trick at first, so he started asking around his industry colleagues, how do I do this? And he was really surprised when the main answer that he got back, well, it's really easy, Katie. What you do is you ask the athlete if you can share their number with the media, and then you ask the media to please only use it once. Right, he thought, I could probably have thought of that one myself. But seriously, what if you really want to protect the privacy of the athletes? And they said, well, that's easy too. Then you just start every call on your own mobile phone and then hand it over to the athlete once the journalist answers. This highly sophisticated solution is actually the most common way that this job is done in the United States across all the professional and college sports. Uh, the problem with it is it's hugely inefficient for the manager and it actually turns them into a bottleneck for their own media operation. Of course there are other ways of doing this job. Conference calls are obviously reasonably popular, but they can be difficult to coordinate across multiple parties and the manager is still a bottleneck for the operation. Uh, burner phones have been tried as well, but they just lead to another problem which we in the trade refer to as who's got the bloody burner phone now. <laughs> and then dead last amongst the alternatives is this idea that you can get the talent to initiate the call and block their caller ID, which is considered to be completely unreliable by 100% of the people who have ever tried it. <laughs> so when we surveyed the alternatives of the, that were available, Katie and I thought we could probably do a much better job. So in late 2016, we did just that, when we launched Lyman, which is an application that communications managers use to schedule, connect, and record important calls for their team without sharing anyone's personal contact details. Let me quickly take you through how it works. First of all, the manager schedules the call using the Blinder app. We've made this process as easy as putting a new appointment in your calendar, and it's important to note that the manager is the only person who needs access to a Blinder account. The call participants simply receive the emails the call details via email and text notifications and they get a text reminder 10 minutes before the call is due to start as well. So no one's got an excuse to forget what they're supposed to be doing. Then at the time of the call and at the agreed time only, the caller can dial straight through the talent's own mobile phone without ever knowing their number. Hence the term blind call and the name blinder. And then finally, uh, Blinder captures a record of the call so that the manager can use that record for things like fact checking, uh, media training or digital content. It's a safe, easy and efficient solution that everyone is happy to use. How happy you might ask? Well, happy enough to pay at least. <laughs> Organisations like professional sports teams pay us a monthly subscription fee to use Blinder across all of their talent. It's a tiered SaaS pricing model, as you can see on that slide here, which varies based on some feature differentiation, the number of calls that are booked through the system, and the number of managers that need access to an account. Our customers are also very happy to testify on our behalf. One of our very first customers was the Australian Football League, which is the biggest professional, sports, um, the biggest professional sport in our part of the world where Patrick Keane has, has actually been using the system for calls with his league executives and, and officials as well as the athletes. We've got fans in the Premier League of English Football as well, uh, and more recently in uh, college athletics through the likes of Purdue and Colorado Athletics. Jared Thompson, whose quote you can see there, actually proved to be su such a fan that we snapped him up from free agency just a couple of weeks ago, and he's now joined our team uh, to lead our sales efforts in the US. Say hello, Jared. Welcome to the team. 
we've got a number of customers in music PR as well. So we can genuinely say that we are being used by Olympic champions to Grammy winners and also self-declared national college football champions, albeit recently the host, where Andy Seeley has been as outspoken in his support for Blinder as he has been in his support for an 18 college football player. <laughs> so that's what the communications managers think of Blinder, but arguably more important is what do the athletes themselves think. So here's a quick video uh, showing you what some of our Aussie mates have made of their experience with using Blinder. Check this out. that will create a flywheel effect that will drive our growth. 
uh, and we can we can further accelerate that effect by using technologies like blockchain to manage things like the chain of custody for the contact details and the content that we're capturing in the system, and machine learning to make the whole system more more efficient and smarter and less and less dependent on the middle managers like Kaylee. Um, that technology roadmap will take us all the way up to our ultimate product vision, which is a virtual assistant as opposed to a human assistant that sits on your phone to protect your number and organise your calls so that you receive the calls that you want to receive when you want them and you avoid everything else. That's the big, hairy, audacious vision that we've come up with from working with rock stars and professional athletes and we want to put that technology on your phones as well. That technology roadmap will take us from our starting point in the sports and entertainment market through the media sector as well into business, PR and communications and, and we are you know, in business. Our technology could also be used for things like executive interviews with job candidates and professional consultations between the likes of patient and doctor and obviously into the consumer market as well with that type of application that I just showed you previously. We are now raising a $2 million US seed round to help us drive towards that vision. We're establishing a US C Corp entity to make it easy for US investors to participate in the round. These funds will give us a 24 month runway to, uh, to build the team and to go after the huge opportunity that we've created for Blinder. To steal a quote from the team that put cyclists on a sailboat and took the oldest trophy in sport, the America's Cup, back off Larry Ellison's Oracle Team USA just a couple of years ago. It would be bloody great to have you on board. <laughs> Thanks very much for your time. Uh, it's been an, an absolute pleasure these last few months. We've had an absolute mind of being part of the Stadia family and we look forward to being an active member of the Stadia family going forward. Thanks very much, Lord, for your speaking today.